They are forged in the crucible of training. They are the few, the proud, the Marines. All right, the first type of question we were running into are, or is a situation where we have two vehicles moving at two different speeds, and we want to find out how long is it going to take for these two vehicles to get 55 or 550 miles apart. We see vehicle one moving in one direction, vehicle two moving in another direction. So this guy is moving at 85, and this guy is moving at 65 miles away uh, or uh, dis uh, rate miles per hour now we still work within the uh, with the formula distance equals rate times time I just uh, 8, 5, 6, 5 so in the interest of saving space we're going to have our formula vehicle 1 and vehicle two. All right, now, vehicle one, we're gonna have a rate, and we're gonna have a time, and that's gonna equate to a distance, because distance equals rate times time. And I will zoom in, so you can see that. And I'm just checking the uh, clarity here. All right, so vehicle one and vehicle two, distance equals rate times time. All right, so vehicle one rate is 85, vehicle two's rate is 65. All right, we don't know what the time is because that's what we're trying to define. So rate times time equals distance. So we will come up with two uh, mixtures of 85T and a 65T. All right. So 85T plus 65T equals 550. This basically is going to wind up, if we add these, it's going to become 150. I can see 8, 6, 140 plus the two fives is 10. So 150T equals 550. All right. Um, so what I need to do is define T at this point. 150T equals 550. Bring the 550 down. 150. We need to div divide that. All right, looks like three can go into five, uh, uh, one, two, three times. Because if we did it four, then it would be 600. So three times 150 is 450. Four, five, zero. That leaves us with 100. And just checking to make sure that that is right. That is right. Since we're here already, we have a decimal. All right. And we need to add a zero. We need to drop a zero. All right. So we drop a zero. We get to see how many times 150 goes into 1,000. If I double this, meaning multiply by two, I get three. I get 300. Four, five, six. So if I multiply by six, two, three, six, nine, nine, that would give us 900. 
if we add another 150, we'd be over a thousand. So I would say six and 150 times six, two, three, four, six, nine hundred. And we wind up with a hundred again. So we would have to actually wind up dropping a zero and multiply by six again, and that's probably a repeating decimal. All right. So now what I would do is I would just round up. So 3.7 hours is how long it would take let's talk about the next one the delayed start uh, the, the delayed start is a situation where um, and this is for um, a client of mine in Connecticut I said I would do a video on this all right so we still have our two vessels and this is when one guy leaves and I'll put plus T with and then the second guy leaves later and I'll put minus T there and that's just to indicate that this guy left and then a certain amount of time later then this guy leaves in this situation um, and this is related to a question that uh, a client of mine in Connecticut have, has uh, vehicle one leaves a port, or we'll say B1 for boat one leaves a port. And he's going in that direction. All right. And this vehicle one is moving at 28 miles per hour. 28 MPH. Or I'm sorry, it's 25, not. 2-5. Two hours later, boat 2 leaves the port at 30 miles an hour. So the question is asking, how long is it going to take boat 2 to catch up with uh, boat 1? Now, this guy leaves two hours. This guy leaves two hours later. So this guy has a two-hour head start, which means he's going to be 50 miles away at the time that this guy starts. So back to our distance rate time. Rate times time equals distance, and we'll have B1 and we'll have B2. All right. So the rate for boat one is 25. The rate for boat two is 30. Now we have to take into account time. This boat one left two hours, two hours ahead of boat two. So what we have to do is we have to give ourselves an X plus two, and this for time, just x. Time is the same, but we have to add two hours to this guy, boat one. And both of these formulas are gonna come out or equate to a certain distance. But what we need to do is we have to take this and we have to distribute the 25 in this situation and we'll distribute here as well. So what we have in this case with boat, just check my real estate, boat 2 is 25 times x is 2, 5, x and that's a function of distance because we have rate and time. And then 25 times 2 is 50. In this situation 30 x. 30 times x is 30x because we have two rates and we have two representations of time. Alright. So now, what we need to do is we need to define time. So we've distributed and now what we're going to do is we're going to Put all this together. Two five x plus fifty 
is equal to I'm sorry 30x is equal to 25x plus 50 so we have to make these equal to each other and we have to solve for x which is the t so we have to subtract 25 from both sides which leaves 5x here and then what we need to do is we need to divide both sides by 5 bang 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 x is equal to 10 so in 10 hours boat 2 will catch up with boat boat 2 will catch up with boat 1 in 10 hours so what we could do is we could test it X became 10 hours, so uh, boat one moved at a rate of 25 times X plus two. All right, and then boat two was moves at 30 miles an hour and times X. So now what we do is, um, and this is just multiplication here, we have to this is just a multiplier sign. We have to replace 10 X with 10. We replace X with 10. So we have a 10 here. And we have a 10 here. And then we'll find out how much distance we cover. This one is easy. We covered 300 miles. If in 30, at 30 uh, miles per hour, if we move 10 hours, we move 300 miles. In this case, 25 times 12 equals the same thing. Uh, 2, 5 times 12, I'll just throw it over here. 2 times 5 is 10, carry 1, 5, 0, 2, 5, 0, 10, 300. So we just tested that out and it works out. Both of these vehicles move at, moved 300 miles. So that's our delayed departure situation. And last but not least, this one is really not too bad. Uh, we have two vehicles, two boats. All right, one boat here, one boat here. All right, now these guys are 450 miles apart. And now these guys are traveling towards each other. All right. So this guy is moving at 28 miles per hour, and this guy is moving at 22 miles per hour. And I've done this in another video, but I figured I'd do it again because I'm talking about different situations of distance, distance rate, and time problems. So. At 12 o'clock, these guys, at 12 p.m., these guys start traveling towards each other. And the question is asking, where are these guys going to be at 8 p.m.? How far apart from each other? So, distance, rate, and time still a pause. Rate times time equals distance, or you can say distance, rate, time. It really doesn't matter. Um, you can say R times D, or you can say D equals R times T. It doesn't matter, you just flip it around however you want to work it. This is relatively easy because we want to know where, do you get, where are these guys going to be um, if they start it at, at 12 sailing towards each other. We just multiply both of these guys by 8 and we figure out how much distance that we, they've moved. Because distance is a function of rate, which is 28 miles an hour times time which is eight hours same thing here break 22 time eight hours so this guy goes eight times four sixty four carry six sixteen two hundred and twenty four miles this guy goes eight times two sixteen hundred and seventy six one seventy six so in a span of eight hours, this guy 
This boat moves 224 miles in, this guy moves in 176 miles in, okay? And basically what we need to do is we add the two, 224176, Just looking over my math. Ten. Carry to one. Ten. Carry to one. Four hundred miles. So these guys are actually fifty miles apart now. Okay, so this guy moved in from his starting point, two hundred twenty-four miles, wound up here. This guy came in 176 miles, wound up here, and the distance that they're apart from each other now is 50 miles apart. Okay, so those are some of the distance, rate, and time problems. You, you could come into contact with them on the SIF test, the United States Army SIF test, the Navy, Marine Corps, Coast Guard, ASTB, or the uh, Army Air Force um, AFOQT. Um, so that's pretty much in a nutshell. Um, any comments, comments, questions, or concerns, just uh, shoot me a message in the uh, message box. Thanks for watching.